we grew up in an era where we looked to leaders in those ivory towers, the big institutions, you know, whether it was academia or corporate or government. Like we thought they were responsible for driving the change. Uh, I've come to believe that uh, the change is is not likely to happen that way. I mean, if we're waiting for existing institutional leaders that have responsibility for the current models to come up with the models for tomorrow and move us there, uh, they're not going to do it. It's not in their interest to do it. Uh, yeah, there are some uh, exceptions to that, but, but by and large, most leaders are incented to strengthen their existing models and their existing positions. I think what's really exciting is what I call self-organized purposeful networks. This messy thing that we see emerging where people are using new technologies like social media to connect and share information, you know, to exchange ideas like you and I are doing uh, here today. And I think we've got the exchange of ideas down pretty well. We've learned how to connect with each other. I call it you know, colliding with the unusual suspects, you know, to figure out what's interesting in the gray area between us. I think the thing that's starting to happen that's going to happen more tomorrow is we're going to figure out not only how to exchange ideas, but we're going to figure out how to create purposeful networks, combine our capability set to have an influence to actually put pressure on and to change these models and systems. And I think it's that pressure from that happens organically from the bottom up combined with a subset of leaders in existing institutions, not all of them, in fact, probably not most of them, but a, a select few that are going to realize that they have the capability set to invent the future and it's in their best interest play a leadership role in creating the future and those two forces are going to you know going to put you know, allow us to reach an inflection point where everyone else is going to have to come along for the ride but it's a big shift because we used to wait for the institutional leaders to drive the change and i don't think that's going to happen